And we start part two in the speedrun. We enter the Viridian Forest. And you're going to want to take a right. And I would get this item right here. It's a potion. Called it. No, but... Um, it's worth it. It's worth it for the extra random encounter, even though that takes up about... Uh, ten seconds. I don't know. Anyway, you're going to want to fight this guy. I think it's Bugcatcher Rick, if I'm not mistaken. He... You kind of got to get pretty lucky with these when fighting Weedles. Because when they do Poison Sting, you can get poisoned and that just ruins everything. Because you can die. Yeah, yes, use String Shot. Don't use Poison Sting. I don't know if this one has it. But okay, use it again, even though you're already faster than me. And just keep mashing the tackle button. Okay, use it yeah, three three times in a row. You know. Alright. And oh, four times in a row, string shot, really? You don't have another move? <laughs> that was pointless. And he's dead. And I zoom up in level. I'm already level seven. So that's nice. And he has a Caterpie. Good thing I learned bubble. I think it does more damage. Ooh, critical hit. Yes. No, oh, he would miss. Taco. Whatever. The Caterpie's doing no damage to me. Man. Hmm. Well. It gave me one more experience point than the Weedle. I got 67 instead of 66. And definitely go on the right side. You don't want to go mm, into battle. Oh! I'm fighting this guy because I always fight the first guy, this guy, and then the very last guy in the Viridian Forest for the experience. It's good to level up a little early on. I think this extra battle right here will be worth it. Considering the time I learned water gun. Good time, kinda. Anyway. This guy has three Weedles, I think. Oh, yes. I hate being poisoned by them, because when I'm poisoned by them and I don't have an antidote, you walk around and then you die, and that sucks, and so I restart. That's why I saved it. Saved before the Hurting Forest in case that happens. I could start over. I actually did this on my first run, though. Which was lucky. That I didn't get poisoned. Anyway. Oh, he has a Kakuna. Kakuna would use Harden. But good thing I th think Bubble is a special attack. Would so, it's pointless. Whenever I play through these game ways, games, I always pick Charmander, because he's my favorite. Because Charizard is definitely my favorite Pokemon. But, he, Charmander would suck for speedrunning. You can't do it. Especially when the first gym is Brock, and then the second one's Misty. You're at a disadvantage to both of them. Ooh, I learned withdraw. I'm never going to use that. It's pointless. And it, ooh, antidote. Save that for later. Don't get in a fight. Yes, I didn't get in a fight there. Let's hope I don't get one in here. Oh, dang it! Wild Kakuna. I don't think you fight. You never fight one wild person and kill him in this. A weedle. Boring. Hmm. When I was a kid, I would always get stuck and lost in the Viridian Forest. I don't know why. Just playing blue version, I, I'd have to have my brother do it for me because I had nowhere, I had no idea where to go. Which I don't know why. It's a really easy dungeon, I guess. Forest. It, I guess I would, I would venture left. 
And then, like, I get to this point, but then turn backwards for some reason. I don't know. But it always took me forever. Well, this level 9 Weedle is pretty easy now that I'm level 10. And I don't get poisoned. Which is awesome. But I have an antidote anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yes. 99 experience. Time to go to Pewter City. If I don't get in a fight, yes. Awesome. Awesome. Well, avoid that grass. You knew. I'm gonna heal up at the Poké Center because, obviously, I'm injured. My Squirtle is. Look at that Jigglypuff, upper left corner. I'd talk to it, but I'm not supposed to. Well, first thing you're going to want to do is go to the Pokemart. And you're going to want to buy probably a Paralyzed Heal, just in case you ever get paralyzed. Since I already have an Antidote, I don't need one. And I'll buy an Awakening, just because. Right. And I'm going to buy five Repels. Which we'll use for the next cave. Which is more than enough, probably. Now, time to go to the gym. <laughs> the gym. This is an episode of The Simpsons. Homer was driving by and he's like, What's a gym? Then he walks in and he's like, Oh, a gym. It's funny. I'd say fight this guy because you will probably kill him in one hit. One or two, but base two Pokemon. But it's good experience, and you'll level up a lot. Mm, oh, one almost one hit kill. Oh. He didn't do much damage to you, dude. Now time to throw out the Sandshrew. I think. Oh dang! I got a lot of experience that time. Awesome. Sandra must have high defense or special defense because my super effective hit didn't hurt that much. He would lower my accuracy. Scratch. Psh. Not much. Now time to take the gym leader. Usually around this point I'd be at like an hour of playing. If it was a regular playthrough before I learned how to speedrun. Right now, what are we at? Like uh, 15 minutes? Not even? 14? Show me your best! It's like, show me your moves! Show me your moves! It's Captain Falcon. <laughs> From Super Smash Bros. I don't play as him, I just like when he says that. I play as, well it depends which one, I'd always play Kirby, uh, in, uh, Melee, no, not Melee, but when I do play as Kirby in Melee, I always suck up people and just walk off the edge, piss my friends off, anyway, water gun, take away tail whip, because you'll never use tail whip, and this is a perfect time to learn water gun, because it'll one hit KO Onyx, it'll bubble might, but water gun's better. Show me your moves! Onyx. Wait, how did Onyx move faster than me? Is it? He's a giant rock thing. <sighs> Whatever. Mm. And we get the boulder badge. And he actually gives it to you in battle, unlike other gym leaders. One down, seven to go. Seven more gym leaders. In a matter of minutes. Well, not minutes, maybe like two hours. We'll do it. And we're, we're done with this place. Nothing else to do. We're not going to visit the museum. 
that junk. Psh, I think we need to. And this is the good part. I love this part. Only because he gives you ooh, running shoes. Now we don't get a. Now we don't have to walk around. We can run as far as we want, as far as the eye can see. Well, I think I'm gonna end it at this part. So I'm gonna save. I'm just gonna save it all the parts we end. 17 minutes. I think that's pretty good. So 17 minutes in the part two. Oh, and that's exactly why I saved. So I can restart, because I don't want to fight that person. Perfect.